हरिओम तत्सत आई होल हार्टेडली वेलकम यू टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज नम्रता एंड आई एम ऑनर्ड टू बी अहाटा योगा टीचर इन द रेवियर्ड ट्रेडिशन ऑफ द बिहार स्कूल ऑफ योगा विच इज रिनाउंड वर्ल्ड वाइड फॉर इट्स ऑथेंटिक एंड क्लासिकल अप्रोच टू योगा दिस इयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री मार्क्स द बर्थ सेंटिनरी ऑफ द फाउंडर ऑफ द बिहार स्कूल ऑफ योगा श्री स्वामी सत्यानंद सरस्वती बॉर्न एज ब्रिज मोहन मिश्रा इन He began to have spiritual experiences at the age of 6. In 1943 at the age of 20, he renounced his worldly life and went in search of a guru which ultimately led him to Swami Shivananda Saraswati of Divine Life Society Rishikesh who initiated him into the Dashanami order of Paramahamsa Sanyasis and gave him the name of Swami Satyananda Saraswati. It was in the 1960s that Paramahamsa Swami Satyananda Saraswati carrying the flame of yoga illuminated the town of munger in bihar india following his guru's mandate to spread yoga from door to door and shore to shore swami ji as a wandering sanyasi traversed the length and breadth of the south asian subcontinent for 9 years during this pilgrimage he deeply understood the pain and suffering of society this inspired him to formulate a style of yoga that could uplift ordinary individuals into lives of wellness happiness and prosperity in 1963 this seed of wisdom blossomed into what is now one of the oldest and the most esteemed school in the world the bihar school of yoga shri swami ji proclaimed that yoga would become the culture of tomorrow and his words have undeniably come to fruition today yoga has permeated households worldwide bringing profound benefits to countless individuals Swami Satyananda Saraswati was not only an accomplished yogi but also a scholar sage and visionary The style of yoga he taught was firmly rooted in tradition yet he presented it with a scientific systematic methodology accessible to people of all ages religions conditions and orientations This approach came to be known as Satyananda Yoga or Bihar Yoga In 1983 Shri Swami ji entrusted the responsibility of the Bihar School of Yoga to his spiritual successor Swami Niranjanananda Saraswati Swami Niranjan who had joined the ashram at the tender age of 6 received sannyasa diksha at 10 and subsequently embarked on a journey across various countries When he was 23 years old he returned to India following his guru's guidance and infused a new wave of yogic inspiration into the institution under his nurturing guidance the light of yoga has continued to shine brilliantly and resiliently today the bihar school of yoga stands as a beacon of spirituality illuminating revealing and disseminating the ancient wisdom of yoga for the benefit of all those who come to this sacred abode realize that yoga is not merely a practice but a way of life In recognition of his meritorious work in the field of yoga, Swami Niranjanananda was honored with the prestigious Padma Bhushan award by the government of India in 2017. Furthermore, in 2019, the Bihar School of Yoga received the Prime Minister's award for its exceptional contribution to the promotion and development of yoga. A pivotal moment in the history of the Bihar School of Yoga occurred in 1988 when Swami Satyananda, renouncing his disciples establishments and institutions embarked on a tirtha yatra guided by divine inspiration he eventually arrived at a remote village near devgarh jharkhand which was in a dire state of poverty and deprivation this village was rikhia a sacred place that held profound spiritual significance known as chitabhumi or the cremation ground of sati the consort of lord shiva It was the perfect place to live and practice seclusion. He commenced a phase of intense tapasya that exemplified the highest principles of the sannyas tradition. Through his sadhana that lasted 20 years, he generated spiritual abundance which he selflessly shared with the local villagers in the form of economic, social and spiritual prosperity. An ashram emerged around this transformative inner revolution. and rikhia blossomed into a vibrant spiritual epicenter where the cardinal teachings of swami shivananda serve love give are practiced and lived 
It was 2006 that Swamiji officially declared that the ashram would be known as Rikhya Peet. He appointed Swami Satya Sangananda Saraswati as its Peethadishwari. Under her guidance, Rikhya Peet continues to radiate the light of selfless service, worship, righteous living and prosperity. In 2009, Swami Satyananda Saraswati consciously entered into Mahasamadhi, leaving behind a legacy that continues to flourish. Today, aspirants, seekers, devotees, householders and sannyasis from across the globe come together in Munger and Rikhya to embrace and embody the yogic lifestyle while living the ideals of Seva, Sadhana, Swadhyaya and Satsang. Hope you like this video. Hari Om Tatsat.